Hey guys, Lady Liberty Stacker here. I am back. It is a foggy, misty, kind of threatening rain, rainy type of day. I am out running errands. I just stopped at the post office. I had to drop off my packages. And I picked up a package, something I ordered, and I was kind of expecting in. I think he mailed it a little faster than he anticipated. But it's uh, something heavy, something in the precious metals category, but heavy. So i uh, going to be doing an unboxing on that pretty soon. But what I'm doing now is I'm driving down to one of my thrift stores. I haven't been there in a while. And I just got, because I sell online, I have different websites, mainly eBay, but others as well. And you're really supposed to be collecting sales tax in the state that you do e-commerce. And now eBay has three states that require that sales tax be collected from anybody that buys items in that state. And <clears throat> I think it's Montana, Oregon, or Montana, Washington, and Iowa, I believe, are the three states. And, you know, because I, I didn't realize this, and when I sent an invoice to one of my buyers... It had the item cost, the shipping cost, and then it had sales tax. So I thought, what's this? So I called eBay, customer service. They told me that those three states have it. So I think it's just a matter of time where all the states are going to do it. Um, but if you have a vendor's license, it means you collect sales tax. And I don't know how it will affect my sales, but what it does do is when you source items at a thrift store like Goodwill, Savers, um, you know, any other type of thrift store that, that honors that, Salvation Army is another one, you can, you know, they have your vendor's license on file with your rewards card or what have you, and then you just don't get charged sales tax when you make acquisitions, and that could be anywhere from six to eight percent where I am and it's eight percent where I am in my county and it's kind of high but I guess it, it, it's like that in a lot of a lot of areas but that's a, a, a substantial chunk that I'm going to save on everything I purchase but I only have to charge sales tax so I, I've been putting off doing it I've been on doing this online for over a year and I really need to get with a program and do it, do some things, just up, up the uh, <clears throat> up the uh, caliber, so to speak. But anyway, I'm going there. I'm going to take a quick run through to see if they have any uh, high profit items. I've been selling a lot lately, but it's some of the old old stuff I've had in my store for a while. Real low profit. Like today, I just sold a, a DVD movie. And, you know, it was only $3 plus shipping. So it turned out to be like $8 with shipping. And you don't make any money in that. I mean, it's easy to ship. But honestly, <clears throat> I would rather ship a DVD that's worth $55, put it in a mailer, drop it in the mail, then ship one that's worth $6. You still have to use the same poly bag, poly bubble mailer, and the same, you know, ink, and the paper, and the label, and the time. I mean, it's all pretty much the same time that you spend per item, and what I'm finding is that I would rather have just a few less sales, but higher dollar items, so I make more money with less work. It'll just give me more time to, you know, do other things, and, and whatever but uh that's just an example today i just sold a high value dvd set it was it last week and it was 55 dollars plus shipping today i sold one that was 3.99 plus shipping <laughs> same amount of work same supplies same time invested just different profit but if you add the two together it's still 30 dollars average selling price per which is not bad but the one dvd's been sitting there on ebay for over a year <laughs> Anyway, guys, just um, just kind of uh, conveying to you the little things that I've realized doing this. 
I mean, I, you know it, but you know, when you actually live through it, you remember it so much better. Anyway, I'm almost at my thrift store now, so I am going to uh, sign off and I will be back. Well, uh, I was successful for the day in that I did obtain a vendor's license and I was able to complete the exemption certificate, presented it at three thrift stores. Two out of the three took it. One did not. I really don't know why, but I was able to purchase three items. The first thrift store that took it uh, in my county, which is a higher uh, tax rate, they didn't have anything. They usually don't. I don't go there that often, but once in a while, they'll have some good stuff. So I, I will check in from time to time. Did not get anything um, yesterday. Today is March 30th. Yesterday was March 29th. The second thrift store did not accept a vendor's license, but I found two good items. And I will show you that in the next uh, segment after I reach my after I reach my home and uh, the next day when I actually have a chance to show you what I got. But they were easy to list, easy to store. They replaced two items I recently sold. So there's spots where they can go readily and the profit isn't as quite as high as I would like, but they weren't bad items and the sales prices were actually fairly good when I checked the comps. And then lastly, I went to a third thrift store. It's a Goodwill out of my area, but they do accept the vendor's license. And uh, the nice thing was when I was at the checkout, my uh, it was a green uh, tag day, and I found a nice item in, with a green tag on it. The item normally ran $5.98. I was able to get it for $2.99. And when she put my vendor's license number in there, it automatically removed the tax or didn't charge tax. So that's nice. I'm just not sure how it's going to affect, affect sales in my state. Nobody really likes paying sales tax, but I think it's something that we need to do if you're serious about your business and you're filing tax returns for Fed, state, and, and local taxes. So you do need to collect them because you could, you could be held accountable and actually have to pay those taxes for people in your state that purchase things. So yeah, I don't really like the idea of doing it, but I do like the idea where I don't, where I don't have to pay sales tax on thrift stores that accept the license, which could save me a ton of money right there. Because I'm only charging sales tax in my state and also those other three, three states that eBay is required to collect tax because of recent law changes for 2019. So at any rate, I'm changing the subject now. What you're viewing is driving with my GoPro. I actually was able to anchor a base in my car and let it solidify overnight. I can take it off with a hot blow dryer if I want to change the location or put another one in there. But I think this is a perfect location for it. I can still access it from the driver's seat if I want to switch the time lapse on to the regular mode where I talk to you. Um, but the last segment here is driving home. It's going to show time lapse uh, video. It, it really, really makes it quick. I just wish the day were nicer. It was lousy yesterday. Now today they were predicting snow. Same with tomorrow. And uh, so far it's kind of mild outside today. You never know anymore with what they're doing. But here it is. Here is a time lapse. I finally figured it out. Um, I have that feature on my GoPro Hero 5 Black. It's great. Enjoy. I will be back real soon with what I found. Okay, guys, I am back. It is Saturday, March 30th, 2019, and you just watched uh, yesterday me running around uh, Go, uh, GoPro uh, driving footage with my thrift stores. But anyway, this is what I have in front of me is what I actually picked up. So the first thing first, this is a Tag Hauer. He Hauer? Hewer? I know they're watches. It is an advertising hat, and it is embroidered. It's used, but it's in very good condition, and it is adjustable, and they had a price on it. This is at the store that did not accept my vendor's license, but it was $1.99, and I figured, you know, it's embroidered and doesn't need much work. If I want to throw it in the washing machine, I could on cold. I throw these in on a pillowcase and use a delicate wash. And then I do not throw them in the dryer. Instead, I put them over here. That's what those cups are sitting there for. I throw them over the cup like that, and I let it dry like so. 
But I don't even know if I have to do that with this. I'm just going to lint roll it and clean it up a little bit, and it should be ready to go. The sales prices on this were in the 20s. I should be able to get probably low 20s plus shipping for it. It's pretty easy, so that's why I bought that. Uh, second up is a puzzle, and this one is, let me just go ahead and put this back down, 750 pieces. I ordinarily don't like to buy them like that, but this is sealed, and it's in the cellophane still, and the sales figures for this one, this mystical stuff seems to do real well right now. This is crystals and candlelight glitter and glows. It's a sealed puzzle. By Josephine Wall, I guess, is the artist, and this thing is kind of cool. So, and it had sales figures of the low to mid 20s, also. All I have to do is list it, which will just take a few minutes, photograph it, and put it away, and there you go. So, that one's pretty easy as well. And then, last, this is what I got for half price the Goodwill that I went to charges $5.98 for jeans, and it was a green ticket day, and you can see the green ticket there, or the green uh, price tag, whatever. And just the color indicates you know what it is if you know the category. So this one is a pair of women's Levi's, brand new with tags. It's signature, mid-rise, boot cut, and it is... Looks like an older price tag, so this could, but it's not really vintage because it says made in China. It's Mrs. 16 medium, but it is stretch. It's got mostly cotton, a little bit of spandex, but yeah, I mean, brand new pair of jeans, 30 medium, or 30, uh, 16 medium means about a 30 uh, inseam, which is your uh, crotch to the hemline. And these go for about brand new for a pair like this. I could get 29 shipped for it, so it's about 21, 22 bucks plus shipping. And I and these can fit in a padded flat, and that's eight dollars for the buyer. And I don't get that much of a break on it myself, so it's kind of fair for the buyer. Not too much work for me other than uh, listing this, which will take a few minutes, taking pictures, and there you go. So again, I mean, not. Uh, I'm not going to break the bank on these, but they're easy, profitable, and they will sell at some point. As long as you don't have junk on, on eBay, your stuff will sell. It will. <laughs> I even sold a chamber pot. took a year, but I sold a chamber pot. So, Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them below. Give me a thumb up if you like the video. Thanks for watching, and go make it a great day.